Hello everybody, welcome back. Uh, well, last time I left off, I was just, you know, digging out this vein of coal. Alright. So now that this is all done, um... I'm debating whether I should go down and do the next one, or if I should just start strip mining here. I think since I have this macro pickaxe... Uh oh, wait. I have to go one more back. Has to be an odd number here. Um, I'm thinking since I have this macro pick, I should just start strip mining here with the macro pick. Um, actually, no. That's not what I'm going to do. This is, like, sh so makeshift. Alright, here's what I'm gonna do. <sighs> it's a chicken. Gosh, being outside is so laggy. Um, I guess I'll just harvest my berries. Yeah, as you can see, they grow much faster than vanilla crops. I don't know if that's good or bad. I think it's a little bit broken, but, you know. I've discovered that what people really consider a balanced game is one that's about um, one-thirds offense, two-thirds defense. Because if a game is too offense-based, this is like um, MOBAs, RTSs, and stuff like that. Sorry if you don't like those games, but I'm going to talk about it a little bit. Um, what was I saying? Uh, one third attack and two thirds defense. Because if a game is too um, attack sided, then you just die a lot. And that's not. It's like Call of Duty almost. Like you just run out and you die. There's no defensive or strategy side. The defense comes with the strategy, I think. Um, well, the strategy comes with defense. Uh, okay. Gotta figure out how to do this. Oh, yeah, what I was doing, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna make a bunch of macro stone pickaxes, because I have a lot of cobblestone now. <sighs> first, first strip mining. Um, See, so yeah, if a game's too attack heavy, you just, you just die. Like, that's it. There's no strategy to it. It's just go out there, die, then you come back alive, maybe, and then you die again. I'm kind of talking about more uh, public matchmaking in these types of games. Like in Call of Duty professional scene, if there is one, I don't know. Um, like, I'm sure there's strategy, because it's like, what, Search and Destroy is what it's called in there? Which is basically the only game mode in any other first-person shooter, because it takes strategy. But, like... These don't stack to me. Okay, good. Um, but they're made like that. Uh, because it takes strategy. It's not just going out, killing as many people as you can, running around with, like, a knife and just knifing everybody. I mean, people do that in Counter-Strike and stuff, but not at the level that happens in Call of Duty. Commando Pro was the worst idea. <laughs> and that, that was used in the Pro scene, I think. I don't know, I never watched Call of Duty Pro, Pro scene, but I'm sure it was used or is being used. I mean, Commando Pro isn't a thing anymore. At least, not since the last time I checked, but... Oh, hey, look, a cave. This might be good. But yeah, okay, so that's enough about first-person shooters and RTSs. Okay, I kind of hate when I run into a cave on a strip mine, but, you know, it's kind of nice. Okay, that was a torch. I could have sworn it was um, a mob spawner, and I was like, what? Okay, stone, micro pick, get this iron. Hey, this will make one reinforced iron. Cool. Ah, 
I'm just looking for my modded ore, Icosium. Won't need an axe down here, I don't think. Why did I bring that? Actually, for ores and stuff, I guess we'll use this iron pick, because it's already paid for itself. Get some coal. I'm trying to get more ideas for my mod. Um, you know, the two new plants, two new materials. Um, it's dirt, okay. Uh, I don't I don't really think that's enough. I mean, it's cool that there's bigger and smaller tools with different durabilities, but that only goes so far. It's not like a big game changer. And I mean, it's okay for a mod not to be a huge game changer, but, you know, sometimes you need it. So I'm thinking I'll add some more, but I need ideas. So if you have ideas, just post them. Oh, wait. Uh, this wasn't generated when my modded ore was in the game. Therefore, it won't be in here. So basically now, uh, since my mod door isn't here, I want to get to the nether as soon as possible. Um, for uh, the reason being, I want to go far, far away, generate some new land, and find some of my ore. I mean, I could just run way far away now, pray that I find like a ravine, and there's a billion, but like, eh. Uh, one of the ideas I did have for my mod, and this was top secret until, like, about a week ago, maybe? Top secret being it was an idea in my head, and I didn't know how to implement it, so I wasn't going to talk about it. But I'm going to make a new biome, and a new type of stone, and all new ores. When I mean all new ores, I mean the vanilla ores, but in the different stone. Um... So it's going to be a uh, soft stone. Um, soft stone is, I think, a third the hardness of regular stone, so it'll be really easy to mine. Uh, it'll drop the half material for cobblestone, which if you don't know what that is, it's just a stone shard. So it'll drop like two to three of those, maybe. And then the ores will drop dust, which will smelt into half ingots. Um, which if you don't know what those are, I can't show it off down here. But it's half an ingot. One ingot crafts into two of them, two of them craft into an ingot. It's not that complicated. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that was my idea for the new biome. And then having the surface of that biome being gravel dirt. Gra grave dirt. Grav dirt. Dirt. Dirtle. I don't know, some mix between gravel and dirt. Mine... Ambient environment down, please. <laughs> so loud. Rip headphone users. Yeah, that was my idea for the new biome. So I'm thinking about adding that. It'll probably be version 2 of the mod. Right now... Oh, I keep forgetting to update the mod version. So it still says 1.0. But it's mod version 1.2. 2.4 is what I'm playing on. The latest release as of this video was 1.2.3, so it's just one update, which was adding cotton, <laughs> essentially. Changed some more um, uh, chest stuff around, like generating dungeon chests, but other than that, no. Ooh, this is another cave. Nice. I don't know what I got myself into. I was strip mining and I found a cave and now I'm way far away. I've been talking and off track, mindlessly playing Minecraft. You know what else what else am I gonna do? Am I gonna I've been using that it's iron pickaxe. I guess there's just some coal down here. I wanna use this, you know. <laughs> Leave the stone one for uh, strip mining. Get ores with this because it's faster. I can move on. Um, I'm also thinking about adding a material that's uh, light gold, except it's much faster 
and probably a little bit softer, probably a little bit harder to get. Um, and with my modded ore, there is another ore. Uh, I know there's another ores mod that adds all the vanilla ore, so I'm not going to do that, but... Uh, my mod, or my ore, is in the nether. So that's another reason I want to get there, because I can just find it and mine it. And then have a really good material. Well, it's not really that great, but I have the chance to upgrade it into something really strong. Psychosium, the one you get from the ore, is worse than diamond. Um, it does more damage, but it's um, less durable and f slower. Yeah, that's it. So that's how that works. Um, and then Lacanium is going to be really hard to craft. Well, it is really hard to craft because it's in the game. But in this world, it's going to be hard to craft because you need uh, a diamond. Technically, it's two diamond per ingot of it. So, Lacanium Macro Pickaxe with um, Unbreaking and Efficiency is the final goal. At this point, it's the best pickaxe in the game. And it does have a fairly high uh, enchantability stat. And I think I just came right back down to where I got all that coal. I don't know. Yeah, I need to get out of here and end the episode as soon as possible. I might just end it in here. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe for more. Like stuff. Watch the mod if you're interested in how I got this huge freaking pickaxe with 1200 durability made out of iron. And, uh, yeah. Uh, next time I think I'll go down this way. So yeah, I will see you next time.